It's graduation day for this batch of chickens. They're going from our brooder to our mini cooper so they can grow up before going into the chicken coop. I just tried moving the birds two at a time, but it was a little difficult holding two birds and trying to lift the lid of the mini cooper to put them in there. So I'm gonna move them one at a time. It'll take a little longer, but I'm not worried about that. Chicken's big adventure. It's okay. It's okay, chicken. Yes, it's okay. Relax, relax. Relax, chicken. Just take her. Ooh, it's a pretty chicken. Yeah, just take her and put her where she belongs. The goats? Feather foot. My feather foot. Go in your coat. Chicken. You're a good chicken. All safe. No, oh, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Don't, don't get away. You're safe! You're a good chicken! <laughs> it's okay! Yeah! Anything you want to say about this little don't, chicken? Don't put it over my feet. I don't want it pooping in the goat food. It's okay. Relax. Settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Good chicken.
got away. Chicken. What do you think, Clifford? Am I going to hypnotize you with the chicken? shoot any video of me dumping out the pine shavings into our compost or hosing the tub out and drying it off. That just didn't seem cute enough to compete with the first part of this video. We needed to move the chickens a little earlier than I, than I would have wanted. 
but they were big enough to reach the feeder and the water in the in the Mini Cooper, so they should be just fine. We ended up needing space in the brooder for three new baby turkeys. Anyway, here's the informative part of the video. Wendy shot this herself. I'll be back at the end of the video to show you a couple of quick clips of the baby turkeys that I got the next day. Hi, we're getting some new turkeys today, three of them, and I thought it would be a good time to show you guys how we like to set up our brooder rocks. So let's do it. Okay, so we have a big clear plastic tub, and that's what we've been using the last couple rounds with our chicks when we get baby chickens. But I think for a brooder, it's a brooder. So we have talked about getting, making a, a wooden box with the chicken wire and everything that we could kind of close in a little bit. But for right now, we're just using the plastic tote and it's working pretty well. When it wears out a little bit more, it's got a few cracks now, then we might talk again about building one. But for right now, this is working pretty good for us. But what I wanted to show you today was the materials that we put into it because I think it's been pretty successful at starting to keep the moisture down. Because what we do that I think is a little different is that we have a mix. And so we've been getting these pellets that are basically pelleted, I think just sawdust. And they're for horse stalls, but they will retain a lot of moisture. And so we use them in our chicken coop now, and yeah, they do get pretty cakey, but they're really great for our compost because we do compost everything. So this has been a great addition to how we do things around here. And I'm gonna put this as my base layer in the bottom of the tote because it's gonna absorb a lot more moisture than the, the flakes are. So. start with that and I'm just putting you know like less than an inch down really just enough to kind of cover it really well like I said it's just gonna absorb and since this tote isn't as deep as like a big brooder it we don't put as much of, of the flake in and so it if you just use the flake, it tends to get really wet really fast. And we actually have a problem because of it being so wet here that the moisture just gets intolerable and smells really bad, is not healthy for the chickens or the, the ducks or the, the turkeys or whatever you happen to be putting in there. Right now we're putting in turkeys. So that as they scratch around, they're not necessarily getting down to that bottom layer and pushing those pellets up to the top. So I kind of do my own little scratch test. But at the same time, you don't want it so high, like I said, that with this plastic tote, that as soon as you go to do a little top dressing on it to keep them dry, that you're dealing with chicks that can get out easily. So, oh, I'm thinking this is about right. It just feels nice and cushy. And that's about an inch and a half, maybe two inches. Um, yeah, and so then all I need now is my water and my feed and we'll be good to go. And we're ready for turkeys. Okay, so they're all ready to go, and they're in there somewhere <laughs> underneath. I don't know if anybody can see them. They're under their little, little mama heater, and I like that. They get really quiet under there, especially when they're little, so there's three of them in there, and they've got their food and their water, and I'm going to put the lid down, keep them nice and warm. And they're just here by our door. So that works pretty good for us. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Alright, thank you. Bye.
as you can see and hear, Larry, Moe, and Curly here were more interested in pecking my tripod than in posing for the camera. Settle down. Settle down. You're okay. You're okay. Settle down. What's that? I know it's clearly posted. Did you ever think maybe you should be a little more tolerant of birds of a different feather? Don't worry. Don't worry, it'll be okay. When the turkeys get bigger, we won't put them in your little private exclusive clubhouse here. They can go live with the goats.